Hi everyone, my name is Brittany Moya and this is my leadership story. So I majored in sociology at Cal State Fullerton. That's actually where I did my undergrad. And I knew I was gonna go into social social work. Um, I've been through the foster care system myself. So I never wanted to be someone that had to pull a child outside of the home. But I knew that I loved learning about people and society and groups and dynamics. So I majored in sociology and kind of figured, okay, if I can be good with people and just learn and be able to listen to people, talk to people, I can kind of figure everything out everything else out from there. So I took the first job outside of college. I wanted to get my feet wet in the corporate world. Um, and so I ended up at a small residential HVAC company. And from there, I actually ended up moving up um, all the way up to director of customer operations. So at 23, I was a director. Um, that was my first major introduction to a, a major leadership role. Definitely had a lot of challenges, a lot of highs and lows, trials and tribulations. Um, but I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I loved um, helping people, especially employees. And that's how I kind of fell in love with teaching. Uh, I fell in love with teaching through training others. What I found working in kind of um, corporate companies is in school and in college, we're so well structured. We have teachers that are mentors, we have guides, we have syllabus, we have um, structured homework, tests and practice, repetition, consistent structure. And then you get into corporate America and there's nothing. It's sink or swim, trial by fire. Literally, you're just thrown in. There's all these like multi-million dollar companies that are functioning, but they don't really have really good training. And so it was a huge disconnect for me. And so that's really how I fell in with training. I kind of ended up getting into uh, every company that I was at. I was in a position where I ended up training everyone that came behind me. And I think it's because I was having the, this mentality that I wanted to leave things better than how I found them. Um, I never wanted to be that person that was like, okay, well, I struggle so that they have to struggle. I never had that mentality. I never wanted to perpetuate that mentality. So when I, and any time a new employee would come on, I'd always kind of be the first to lend a hand and offer help and offer my notes, um, offer anything I can. And so that's really how I fell in love with uh, building training curriculum and training documents, training material. So from there, I moved to the company I'm at now, Control Air, where I'm a project engineer. We are a major commercial mechanical contractor. And again, in this role, I just got in the habit of always kind of helping others, training others. And I started to look more into instructional design. And that's how I found the whole instructional design industry, kind of how to build training materials better. And so now I'm proud to say that I am the architect, creator, designer, author for our very first all-encompassing training platform. So it's for my, the department that I'm in. So our company has about 11 divisions. The division that I'm in, tenant improvement, I'm creating an, a fully working functional training platform for every new project engineer, project manager that comes in. And if I do it well and they like it and it implements good, uh, they basically want to replicate that across the entire company. So I'm super excited to basically bring learning development to my company, something I'm really passionate about. I, I really want to bring like the change I wish to see. Um, and that's also what led me to get more involved um, in the industry as well. So I'm active in a women in construction operations group called YOPS. And YOPS is all about like uplifting other women in the industry, uplifting, mentoring, advocating, and helping other women get into higher up leadership roles. Um, so yes, that's kind of my leadership story. I kind of just fell into it. Um, but now that I'm in it, I think it was always gonna be my path anyways, just cause like I really fell in love with teaching people through training and seeing that light bulb click in their head, seeing them connect, connect the dots and kind of gain more confidence in themselves. So yeah, so a little bit about me is my favorite music is pop, hip hop, country, bluegrass, pretty much anything except screamo metal. <laughs> uh, my dream job would actually be director of learning development for the company I'm currently at. Something I'm working on, something I'm working on, definitely a long-term goal, but you know, you gotta, you gotta go for it. So we'll see. Uh, my favorite quote is every flower must grow through dirt. I've been through a lot in life. Um, I've had what I always call like a beautifully complicated childhood. Um, and then I've suffered a lot of loss. Um, I have lost both my parents, my mom and my dad. And so one thing that always kind of kept me going was every flower must grow through dirt. You know, there's going to be high, like there's going to be highs and there's going to be lows and each one is going to come. And so I think it's a beautiful quote that reminds us to kind of keep pushing, and keep going and Sometimes it's those really, really low moments or those moments where we feel just like completely in the ground that helps us grow even more. 
um, how I feel about online learning. I feel like it's a constant balancing act. <laughs> um, I do love that it gives me so much more flexibility. I could not do an in-person program. I just couldn't with my work schedule and with being involved in all these other groups. Um, so I love that it gives me the flexibility to balance. So yeah, that's my leadership story and that's about me.